From the Hard Rock Cafe in Toronto, it's Ed the Sock Live! All right, you have to help me out with this. Leanna, you probably helped me out. Raya, you're off camera, but you can help me out. So, uh, this uh, past weekend, I was at a restaurant, and it's a restaurant that has its servers uh, in plunging, wearing plunging necklines, wearing those, I don't know what they call them, halter tops? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were they were like shirts tied here, so you get you know this sort of effect without um, this fuzzy. In right, none uh, of them were the fuzzy. Way. Yeah, that's right. Because yeah. uh, they, they don't cater to those kinks. Right. Anyway, so uh, the, the server, a lovely young lady named uh, Sally, was her name, I believe. Uh, she didn't look anything like a Sally, so I think it was bullshit. Anyway, she had uh, just below her collarbone. Just between the collarbone and the beginning of the swell of her breast, there was a tattoo. Okay, now tattoos basically say, hey, look at me. When tattoos are on display, it's art that you're displaying, it's a statement that you're displaying. But how long can I look at that tattoo in her cleavage without it seeming to be objectifying or rude or just being a lech? Because it was kind of an intricate pattern. So I kept trying to catch, you know, quick looks at it. You don't want to get caught looking because then it's like you're looking at her boobs and you're not. You're looking at her tattoo. So exactly, Leanna, uh, yeah. Raya, help me out. How long, first of all, can you look at somebody's tattoo if it's presented uh, just above the swell of their breast? Uh, is that them saying that they wish to be to have eyes looking there? Yep. Well, it, well, you want to say yes, but in this day and age, I don't know. I would say, I mean, under the circumstances, women in those jobs don't care as long as you tip well. So look and tip well under that circumstance, I would say, just because it is a, a restaurant that you're at, right? All right, uh, Ryan, what I like do you that. say? I'm, I'm not going to show you, just talk. All right, forget it. Raya has no opinion. Raya has zero opinion. All right. I mean, that's a tough one because, yeah. Well, that, it's tough for guys because, yeah. listen, ladies, if you're going to put tattoos in places where you don't want guys looking because you're going to call them a lech, don't put tattoos in those places. But if you put them there, you should expect that guys are going to perhaps linger their eyes there a little longer than they would on a you know regular basis because they're trying to read the art or read what's written there Okay, but or there's, admire there's, the tattoo. There's looking and then there's leering. Right. Well, if you, when does if you, one uh, end and the other begin? Well, if you kind of see the... It's the, the facial expression yeah. that changes on your face yeah. at the time. It's like, oh, that's a very nice tattoo. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And you get, like, the, you get the dreamy eyes. Once dreamy eyes starts, you've gone too far. Yeah, once you've gone to the happy place, yeah. you know, it, it, it is... I mean, you can kind of see, you know, the, the shift. Like, they know they're not looking, but there's something that is not supposed to be there. And so it's shifting back and forth. I mean... If it's the if it's the waitress, I'm thinking it wasn't right here. It was like here, which well, like I said, between the collarbone and the swell of her breast. I I found even more kind of what is that? It was in a an, an and it was half covered up by the shirt too. If if you want, you can actually break the rules a little bit there and be like, oh, uh, what is that tattoo? And then you I think that's then you can draw the it, attention yeah. to it, and then you got yeah. all the time in the world to look as that's, long as. But as soon as she does this, that means. It's done looking. That's probably the etiquette point. Just ask what the tattoo is so that there's no confusion. Or you could like pull like a stanza. Ooh, well that, that material feels... <laughs> what is that? <laughs> you could do no, that. No, you, you, no, you can't, can't do that. No, I, I, I would. I just ask what the tattoo is because then she kind of sets okay, the Okay, here's a the question. Pace. You're on... It's, it's summer and people are wearing less. You're on like a bus or in a public place and you see someone, a woman with a tattoo in that region. Is it okay to look? Well, what, on a bus? On a bus, at a, a restaurant, sitting on a park I don't bench. look at anybody on a bus. You, you grow right, up in a hood, you don't look at people if on a bus. If it's there, is that, thing, is that tattoo not saying it's okay to look here? Well, no, not necessarily. Logically, it would be it's okay to look, but we don't live in a logical age. So it's not necessarily safe. Again, I think tattoos can be a conversation starter. So asking them what it is or what it means, that's okay. Just watch your personal space <laughs> while you're doing it. Just don't get in too close because it's a bus. Drooling. Why do you want to talk to somebody on a bus anyway? Like, no, everybody's supposed to look straight ahead on a bus. You're not supposed to look at anything 
You're supposed to unhear the music with the guy with the earbuds beside you. That's what cell phones are for. Okay, That's get off what the Candy bus. Crush Saga get is for. Liana, so you off. don't have. Liana, you said bus. Me. Get off the bus. You, you okay? said bus. Sitting I was in the moment. on a nice park bench here, Young and Dundas. Okay, we're not on the bus. Okay, You're, we're talking about okay. whether it is. It is. It is. Okay. B- it is a oh, bad idea. The internet or it is again. Rude there it goes. To stare at somebody's uh, cleavage if there is a tattoo there that is pretty much saying stare at me. Well. The worst thing that could happen, really, is that you end up being in 10 seconds of somebody's Snapchat where, like, oh, my God, guys, this sock is staring at me. Uh, ew. And then, oh, they walk away. That's about it. Well, That's, as far as I'm concerned, if you have a tattoo... Uh, if you have a tattoo, your, look at it. If you have a tattoo above your, your breastal region, um, and what? Breastal region? Whatever. If you have a tattoo above your breastal region and you're wearing a shirt that shows it off, do not get angry when somebody takes a look. You put something there on public display. display. Don't act coy that, oh, why you always, look at this creep looking at my tits. You, you've just put a giant arrow there. Look, look here, look here. So don't get pissed off if you've got a tattoo there and you're displaying it and somebody looks. Okay? All right. I don't know who I'm talking to. You're talking to nobody. We lost the internet again. We lost the internet again. Yeah, now it's back. Now well, it's back. Yeah. What I would say is that if... For some reason, anybody, guy or girl, is has a tattoo around their areola, and they happen to be wearing a low cut enough top that you can see that. I'm pretty sure they want it seen. Now you're going for areola. I was I'm saying about if, if they, uh, that that's about as central to the breastal region as you can get. So if uh, it's if okay, it's not, not, not a lot of people are, are walking around displaying their areolas, Nick. But that's what I'm saying. If the tattoo is right saying? there, if the tattoo is in that region and that region is exposed intentionally, then Nick, I would if say they're walking around with their areolas out. It's probably a different thing. No women legal, are allowed though. to take their shirts off. It, it is. Legal, it is. It, it is, is legal, legal though. What? It's, it is legal. It's legal areolas here. are legal. You can get that in the summertime. You can N- have not on YouTube, but on a public street in yeah, Toronto. You, it's you, legal. You can have tits out here. Yeah. All right, Nick. I I am just over just, this whole I'm going to get offended if I catch a guy looking at my boobs. There are huge large objects that move people look at. Well, it's, it's actually kind of it goes back to brainstem issues for men when we were still uh, hunter gatherers. Let's not go that deep. And, let's just animals, not go that deep. Like we would hunt animals, I see I see women look looking at my boobs. Like it's not just men. In a bush or you know a twig moving or it, it was a matter of survival. When something moved, we had to be able to we had to be on it. We had like any motion. We're trained in our brainstem to look. So if a woman is, is, is has her, her her she has large breasts and they're out and they're moving, we don't look voluntarily. It is actually our 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 primordial instincts telling us there may be danger. That's the reason we look over at the boobs. And then you look away. Like don't stare, but it's it, it's it's built boobs into our DNA. Boobs are danger. What? Boobs are danger. No, they're not danger, but they might be because they're moving. So to terrify you, I just sit up a little straighter. No, like, you're are you afraid right no, now? Boobs, boobs aren't frightening, is what I'm saying. So but HBO is at like the, the horror of channel eye, for you. You don't, you can't account for. <laughs> you got to take a look and then you know. Okay, good. Nothing to be okay, afraid of Ed, here. Okay, this is why you get into trouble. This is why you're having trouble. You are over-explaining. Over-explaining makes you look guilty. Just, God. it was moving, it was in my peripheral vision, what does your tattoo mean? Done. When what you start no getting tattoo, into, the just moving. when you start talking about yourself like you're a woolly mammoth, <laughs> then we start having problems, no, okay? Like, mammoth, it sounds like bullshit. A cave, cave person. If we haven't come that far. <laughs> All right, here we go, Borderland ahead. Hey, don't! You <laughs> deserve that one. Unweenus. All right. You're just, you're making trouble for yourself by overcomplicating this. making trouble, just uh, Nick, of course, is our undercover guy in fast food restaurants. Oh, jeez. Uh, he, uh, a few weeks ago, got very angry. Yeah, hi, guys. How you doing? How you doing? What are you doing here? Isn't it a school night? Well, yeah, we're not from here. You're not from here? Oh, where are you from? Aurelia. Aurelia? Oh, you're really not from here? No. No. What brings you to Toronto? Common sense? No. No, what? No, okay, yeah, I don't see any of that on display. What brought you to Toronto? IDs. ID? Oh, no. You came here to get ID? Yep. Real ID? Yeah. 
Oh, you, so you have to go like to get your health card or your, yeah. yeah? Yeah, that kind of ID. Yeah, that kind of ID, not the kind that used to used to be able to get all up and down Young Street here. Yeah, that, not, not, not that, that kind. No, those. so real ID. Yeah. You can't get that. You can't get your ID in Aurelia. No. Why is this? Uh, this sounds fishy. <laughs> you can get this. They have government offices in Aurelia. Yeah, they're all closed. So we thought we. Oh, they're all closed. Yeah. Oh, they're all closed. What's your name, fella? Uh. Just check your ID. I can't. I didn't get it. You didn't get it? Why? Because they're all closed. What, they're all closed here? Yes, we gotta go back home. That sucks. Yeah. Alright, uh, your friend doesn't want to talk anymore. What is your yeah. name? What's your first name? Uh, Carter. Carter? Yeah. Is that really your name? Or did yeah. you just take time to make that up? <laughs> no, it's, it's actually Carter. It's actually Carter. Alright, yeah. Carter. And uh, your friend over there? See you later. Have a good time. Yeah. It's, uh, enjoy Toronto. <laughs> it ain't Aurelia. I think the uh, bartenders were listening, they had no ID. What is that? I think the bartenders at the Hard Rock were listening when they said they had no ID. Yeah. <laughs> I saw all the bartenders do this though, they hiked their shirts up so that... They're... Yeah, so it's not frightening you, Ed. Like, I had no <laughs> I idea that I was in... <laughs> are, are you feeling more afraid? Like, okay, I said. Is, is this frightening? Like, if I do this, is that scary? Like, are you having are issues you gonna right now? Are you going to continue to misuse my words? I'm afraid to look at the I, screen right I'm now. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> see, Nick doesn't see Nick and Joe. doesn't want to look. See, I don't even want to know what's going smart. on right now. Nick is smart. He instinctually just goes, no. <laughs> he knows what's good. Okay. okay like, knows. Danger, danger. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Our, our late friend Andre, who was a little person, he, um... Smushed by boobs? He, yes. Every he, time I hugged him. He, no, he had <laughs> sex with this woman once at, a, at an event, and the woman An event had, I was running. Uh, yeah, she, the woman had pendulous breasts, kind of like that Sasquatch you see at Bluff Creek. She has pendulous large breasts, yeah. and she had sex with him, and he, tell, he was telling the story, may he rest in peace, but how he's underneath her, getting, getting smacked in the face constantly by... And these were huge breasts, and they were low hangers. So they, they actually, the, the, the balance of gravity was lower. So I think he practically got a concussion. He might have got a nosebleed. So that was danger, but it was the kind of danger that, you know, Lord, if that's how you die, that's how you go. 